Hi, I'm Phoenix, and I'd like to share with you a dream that I had the other night. It was a little unnerving, to say the least. I dreamed I was at a funeral, and I was dressed in a navy blue suit. I don't even have a navy blue suit. I approached the casket to pay my last respects, and as I looked into the casket, I found myself looking at myself. It woke me up, needless to say, because it was unnerving, and I thought, what is going on here? The next day, I asked the universe for a sign, and true to form, the universe gave me not one but two signs to help me have a better understanding of what was going on. I had taken a walk, and as I was returning on my walk, I was approaching a small bridge over a wash. There was a big bush in the wash that was partially screening the guardrail on the side of the bridge. I could see that there was movement on the guardrail on the other side of the bush, but I couldn't tell what was there. As I approached it, I came face to face with a turkey vulture, eyeball to eyeball, who then flew away once we had made that eye contact. Well, I know what turkey vulture is all about. It's about transformation. It's about transition. It's about change. Because turkey vultures take dead things and help them decompose further into new beginnings. Okay, I was starting to get the light here. I went home and I took out my favorite deck of cards that I always turn to when I don't know what else to do. This is the Voyager Tarot deck and I've used it for like 20 years. It's just very consistent for me and I really love it. So I shuffled the cards and I said, okay, I just need a sign about what's going on here. Just one sign, just give me one card. I pulled out a card and it was the death card. All right, I, I'm metaphysical enough to understand that all of this does not necessarily mean a physical death. Most likely, and based on what's going on in my life right now, this is a metaphorical death. So it's not a real death, it's that I'm changing so deeply and so dramatically. My mind is having a hard time catching up with what my spirit wants me to do. So when I looked into the coffin and saw myself, my mind was telling me, listen, your identity is changing so much, I don't even know who you are anymore. Okay, I understand that. The mind was also having resistance because I was finding myself saying things, well, I can't do that. I, I don't know how to do that. I don't have the tools for that. It's just resistance, and it's what the mind does when it doesn't know what to do and it's unwilling to do anything at that moment because it's scared. The mind has a safety issue. I was also experiencing sleeplessness and wakefulness at 3 a.m., wondering how in the world was I going to pull off this change that Spirit's bringing to me. And that was simply the mind saying, I'm out of control here and I'm not liking it at all, and keeping me awake as a result. And I've also been experiencing denial in the forms of, oh, my life is just fine the way it is. I don't need to change. Hmm. Well, again, that's just the mind saying, I'm so much safer when I know what I know. And you're asking me to step into what I don't know. Well, that's kind of what happens when we're making spiritual change. We're stepping into something we don't know. And we're basing it on trust. We're basing it on our gut feelings. And it's pretty scary, especially to the mind. Well, you know, I know I'm not the only one going through this because I'm talking to friends and colleagues and clients who are all expressing deep and profound change in their life right now and feelings of, you know, ranging from euphoria to, yay, I get to change, to the fear of moving forward and everything in between. This is what happens when our spirit gets involved and we listen to it and it says things can be so much better for you if you just try something different. Well, fortunately, in the last 10 years, I've been developing a lot of tools and techniques and methodologies that have helped not only me to make big changes in my life, but to help clients and friends and you know colleagues make big changes in their lives too. And what I've noticed that the changes that we're able to make, make that change, that transformational stage, much easier and graceful, more in alignment with our soul purpose. I feel supported. I have tools I can use and they work. And I don't have to recreate the wheel and everything flows so much better when I'm using those tools and methodologies. So I started thinking, all right, I'm not the only one going through this, obviously. 
how can I use this to help others? Well, this is when Spirit really came through and said, well, what a great idea. And so here's Spirit's great idea. I'd like to offer you free 15 minutes of my time on the phone or on Skype. And I'm going to be doing most of the listening and you're going to be doing most of the talking. And what you're talking about is what kind of change are you experiencing or would like to experience or are terrified of experiencing? What tools do you have? What do you need? What would you like to have to help you move forward? Where do you see yourself in a year from now or even five years from now? Or where would you like to see yourself? The whole time you're talking, I'm going to be taking notes. And that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be selling you anything. I'm just listening, maybe asking a question or two and taking notes. When we're done, we hang up. And then I'm going to send you an email. That email is going to have two things to it. One, as my thank you gift for just talking to me for 15 minutes, I'm sending you a bonus page on my website that has deep discounts of all kinds of opportunities that might help you right then and there. But also, I'll send you kind of a summary of what you said and ways that maybe I can continue to support you and help you. You're under no obligation to read it or to follow it or to do anything with it. But if you're looking for help and support, if you're looking for easy tools and transformation, that's what I can offer you. So at least it might be worth a read, if nothing else. If you decide to take me up on this free 15 minute phone call, what I'd like you to do is send me an email and all this information will be on the last slide you're going to see here. So don't worry about trying to write it down. But I do need you to send me an email to support at phoenixrstar.com. In that email, tell me your name, your phone number or Skype number or Skype handle and the three best days and times in the next three weeks where you would like me to call you. That's all you have to do. I will send you an email back either suggesting a different time if those don't work for me or picking the one time that does work best and then on that day and time I will call you. And like I said, I'll listen to you as you get a chance to talk. Sometimes just talking is all we need because we don't have anybody to talk to. But sometimes in talking, we also recognize more of what we do need. And if so, that will come out in its perfect and divine timing during our conversation where you're talking and I'm listening. So again, you're under no obligation to do anything on that, that email that I send you back. But I do think I have some ways that will help support you in the easiest way possible to create the best possible transformation for your change. So think about it. And in the meantime, I thank you very much for listening to this. And if you can think of any other way that I can support you on your path, please let me know. I really value you being in my life. Namaste.